Everton have been linked with a move for Milan winger Samuel Chukwueze for about the 84th time. Uh, he's 25 years old. He's played eight times this season, uh, seven in Serie A, one in the Champions League, and he's got no goals or no assists so far. He is actually... A decent winger, though. He's quite quick as well, which is something Everton are looking to address a right winger with pace. He's a, re, apparently available for around £11 million in the January transfer window. Everton have continually linked also with Silas as well uh, in January. I think the club, trying to bring someone with pace in, in August, uh, didn't quite get that done and are hoping to move uh, back in that market come January. Jared Branthwaite, Nathan Patterson and Vitaly Mikalenko are all back in full training ahead of Everton's trip to Ipswich Town this weekend. However, the Toffees could be missing uh, James Garner for a few weeks. Uh, nothing being confirmed uh, on his absence, how long he's likely to be out for, but he has apparently picked up a back injury, uh, which has troubled him before. But that is a bit disappointing because obviously he's been playing at right back recently and done quite well. And Sean Dyke to be very disappointed that Garner has picked up that injury. And like I say, no confirmation yet on how long he'll be out for. Maybe the manager will have more on that tomorrow in his pre-match press conference. Dan Freakin's net worth has risen to an all-time high. As, uh, it's risen by 77%, apparently. Uh, Freakin's personal wealth last year stood at around $4.3 billion, now stands at $6.4 billion, placing him 393rd on the Forbes Global Rich List, which is very nice. Uh, some of that obviously being spent on Everton. Uh, and former Everton graduate Isaac Price scored his first career hat-trick last night as Northern Ireland beat Bulgaria 5-0 in the Nations League. He becomes the first ever Everton graduate to score a hat-trick at international football. Absolutely tremendous feat. Brilliant for uh, brilliant for Price there. He's obviously playing in Belgium now, but... Uh, Tremendous achievements for anyone at any time to get an international hat-trick. And finally, former Everton goalkeeping coach Alan Kelly has revealed that it wasn't his decision to leave Everton. Uh, he revealed that after his uh, surgery, he was looking forward to getting back to work at Everton. But Sean Dyche had replaced him with Billy Mercer, who apparently had come in on a short-term deal. And Sean Dyche wanted Mercer to remain, despite Kelly uh, working with Jordan Pickford. Statistically-wise, for the rest of the season, he expected to retake up his position this summer, but uh, his position wasn't renewed and he left the club. Said he had no hard feelings and enjoyed his time at Everton Football Club. Uh, Alan Kelly was while speaking exclusively to The Athletic. That is it for the News Daily. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Don't forget, check out the latest 1878 FM podcast. It's out there now. See you later.